We became aware that there was a tremendous amount of mitigation needed to compensate for civil construction after Hurricane Katrina. The Corps of Engineers and other federal agencies embarked on a program to strengthen the levees and the protection systems around New Orleans. When you raise a levee, for instance, it makes the bottom wider. When the base of the levee is wider, it destroys wetlands. Those destroyed wetlands need to be offset with compensatory mitigation. Jesuit Bend's a very special restoration site as far as wetlands are concerned in Louisiana. It combines the best of two worlds. It's both ideal ecological restoration, but it also serves human purposes. Historically, the site conditions, it was actually a fresh to intermediate marsh, and over time, it converted to an agricultural field, and then a cattle pasture, and then over time, those conditions just compacted the site, and then it turned into open water several years ago. The open water site that we're restoring to Marsh is actually at the foot of a levee protecting a community. In storms, that open water creates waves that lap up against that levee and can destabilize it. So it performs both ecological purposes and also protects communities. So for this particular project, what we're doing is we're pumping out sediment from the bottom of the Mississippi River to raise the elevations up about three feet high, and then we'll go in and plant native vegetation species out on the site. I guess the exciting part about the Jezebel Mitigation Bank was there was no spec book. I mean, there was no blueprint on exactly what to do. We had a lot of moving parts, worked with a lot of good professionals, and came up with the best case scenario and worst case scenario, and kind of did the design as we were moving. It was designed on the fly. As far as I can see, everything that we had anticipated is coming true. The fill is the same material that we want. The settlement is right on target with what we predicted. Uh, the tidal influence is right where we expected it to be, and everything's looking like best case scenario. Jesuit Bend is a unique mitigation bank in the United States. It's one of the largest and most ambitious restoration projects for mitigation that has ever been attempted. We have dredged over 1.3 million yards of sand from the bottom of the Mississippi River, pumped it to the shore, pumped it six miles down a federal levee, up and over the federal levee, under a highway, under a railroad, through a neighborhood, back over an outside federal levee, and out into the site that we purchased in order to restore. EPA has been involved, Fish and Wildlife Service has been involved, Wildlife and Fisheries have been involved, and the Louisiana Department of Natural Resources. Everyone was, stood behind us and helped get us through. I think this project's gonna set an example for future restoration projects, just to encourage the private market to do the right thing for the environment. One of the biggest advantages of the private sector doing Mitigation Bank, aside from the ease of securing right-of-ways, is you have the decision makers at the table. You can make decisions on the fly, and it doesn't have to be made by committee. From our environmental permitting consultants, to our engineers and planters, to even the airboat people and attorneys, we've got some of the absolute most skilled people in each discipline that's required to restore the environment properly. But most importantly, we partner with Great Lakes Dredge and Dock in Oak Brook, Illinois. They're the nation's oldest and largest dredger and the most technically experienced. This was going to be a very, very challenging dredge job, taking it 90 feet off the bottom of the Mississippi River. Great Lakes was perhaps the only firm in the country that could do this work in the time needed and the price that we had to have. When a developer impacts the environment, under modern environmental laws, they're required to achieve no net loss of the resource that is impacted. Mitigation banks and mitigation bankers like myself replace the environmental resources that are to be lost ahead of time before the damage occurs. When we establish a mitigation bank, if it is successful and the ecology matures correctly, we're issued credits that can be sold to developers, public and private, in order to offset those losses before they occur in order to achieve no net loss of the resource over time. Over the last 17 years working for wetlands, I've come to appreciate what scientists know that wetlands are absolutely critical to the landscape from a wildlife perspective, a water quality perspective, but also, particularly in Louisiana, a human perspective. They're the speed bumps for the storm waves when the storms come. If you don't have wetlands, you don't have a speed bump, and the waves come racing right in against your levees and against your communities. Wetlands are vitally important, not just for their ecological improvements, but also for the people in the communities.